Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I'm doing an isolation state station isolation decks video response to Shuffle Tarot's tag. So I picked the cards that I've been using a lot lately, and uh, one of them really surprises me that I've been using is this one, Morgan Greer Tarot. It's this is a really old deck. It's from '79, and it's just got such a feeling of the '70s. The men, the mustaches. I mean, it's a great uh, RWS deck. You know, follows it so great. I mean. Very 70s looking. Well, he actually looks like Jesus. You know, so I, j I just feel the 70s out of this. I like this because it's so colorful. I love this moon. So here's one that really surprised me. The ones that won't surprise you, I've been using f for uh, these two, I've been using for years. You know, since I got it, what which was 2017 or 2018? I don't remember the year exactly. I've been using it almost every day. I just love these cards. These make me feel good. I mean, look how happy that Seven of Pentacles guy is. He is happy. He's planted his seeds. He doesn't mind waiting. Even though he's got a lot of pinnacles showing, he's he's happy and he's got apples growing. Even this eight of swords is just beautiful. There's you don't feel stressed in it. You totally understand it. Such a sweet six of cups. And she's looking at all these pictures of the past. So beautiful, this Queen of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Oh, I love that. Oh, Eight of Wands. Kiki's uh, Delivery Service. I love them. Studio Ghibli Service. So, it's got so many modern references in this deck. Even though everybody's dressed in Victorian time. I love this Hermit card. I love his nose. You expect it to start moving on its own. The Star Cup. Okay, I'll stop looking at it. I just love it. And I got this close to that time, too. The Gothic Moon. I know this is a very dark deck, but it makes me happy. Is that the most beautiful Nine of Pentacles? He's in so much luxury. He's got a fountain of jewels and pentacles. I mean, everything is so luxurious here. Oh, and I love these wands. If you look close, I have to find a better one. Oh, there you can see the, the skull and the fireball or heat. It's uh, There he is looking in this Christmas window. And it kind of looks like a church because it looks like um, stained glass. Is that a beautiful six of wands? Such victory. I mean, we got firecrackers. Yeah, not firecrackers. Uh, fireworks. I see. I think you see skulls in those a little bit better. Oh, the star. She is so beautiful. The Empress. I love this Empress card. She's like so many girls I've seen at clubs. On oh, this uh, deck uh, features Gabriel throughout. I've They never wrote the book to go with this deck. So I'm assuming this is Gabriel's journey. Or for whoever reads the deck, it's your journey. But he's the central character in this. The Hierophant. Eight of Swords, he's just using his 
mental energy to bust free from the, those shackles of the swords. Is that a beautiful moon? This high priestess. Okay, we're going. Oh, and I love this glitter. Some people don't love the glitter. I live for glitter. I love that. And this is no surprise either. I love this deck. Everybody loves this deck. The Light Seers Tarot by Chris Ann. This deck makes everyone feel good. I have never had anyone not feel good getting a reading from this or using this. This and the uh, Dark Mansion seem to be a favorite of so many people. They are just feel good decks. They lift you up. Oh, I love this. Look, she's got the Cupid's arrow on her shoulder tattoo. Eight of Swords. It's just in her mind she's bound, but she's not. Such a perfect deck. Oh, that is... Come back with the puppy. Here we go, Six of Cups. Here they start out as young little kids together. And here they're growing older together. So sweet. Okay. This one doesn't have a lot of color, but it still, it calls to me. I love this Ace of Pentacles and this Seven of Cups. Three of Swords, the Moon. Some of the architecture put in here is great. Oh, this is a great Nine of Wands. You know, you've been working hard, you're a little battered, you gotta have a meditation. Ground yourself. Judgment. Temperance. Beautiful. A great five of cups. High priestess. Oh, well, that's a beautiful three of pentacles. So, yeah, this one's not very colorful or dark, but I really like it. And it's got that antique uh, gold gilding like the larger uh, Dark Mansion has. Oh, I love this mermaid deck. And this is my favorite card in it, the Empress. So beautiful. This is like a very comforting card. You feel nurtured just looking at her. She looks beautiful. Her her pregnant belly with, you know, it's not just a baby in there, a mermaid, or it's everything she's creating is in there. Temperance. Nine of Pentacles. This is a great place for a water person. Queen of Cups. I love this devil card. I don't know why they use a goat for to represent the devil. Most people do, but I don't understand that. And look, you can see the lock on this cage is not locked. All she has to do is reach down and pull that off. Yeah, devil, addictions, it's all you. You can fix it. High Priestess, isn't that gorgeous with the material flowing everywhere? 
Oh, look at her. She is a beautiful knight of swords. And she doesn't look like she's rushing in. I mean, she looks like she's rushing in, but she doesn't look hasty. She looks very in control. This is a great nine of swords. See, we got the siren making her siren call. All you got to do is pick up your tent, move it somewhere else. You won't even be bothered. Oh, look at this beautiful, happy family. All the generations, all the food in their home. Oh, four wands. It's a beautiful one. They're having a picnic. This one kind of reminds me of Narcissus. You know, he sits there and stares at himself in the water and then turns into a flower and can live there forever. Ah, this is so, it's just, look how beautiful that is. This is such a fun, exciting deck. Look, the eggs of mermaids. Sharks are born like that in uh, bubbles in a thing called a mermaid's purse. Truly, this just is such a feel-good deck. Wow, I love his shark's tail, but studly too. Oh, and I love the lava, the fire pouring out of her hands. This is awesome. This feels so good. You could, I could see everyone loving this. Here's one. It's an old one. Well, not that old. But it's super colorful. This gives you like a super jolt of caffeine to your system. With all the, the beautiful colors. Very rider weight. Oh. And just spectacular. The artwork makes me feel so good. Even the Three of Swords is just gorgeous in there. Look, you can see their faces so well in this uh, Six of Swords. You can see they're tired. They're beat. They're ready to leave these troubled waters and get to the smooth ones. Eight of Swords is gorgeous. And look how wide apart those swords are. She can just walk on out. And those aren't really tight, those ropes. You can see it's like falling off her hips there. He totally looks like a lobster. He looks way too big to be a crawdad or whatever. So this is the Tarot Illuminati. And I love my cute and creepy deck. This is so fun. This has got, you know... A lot of things, like characters we've seen in, like, Studio Ghibli. There's this one that the house gets up and walks away. Just love it. Oh, is that the cutest Sybaris you've ever seen? You got corgis instead of uh, Rottweilers, the th being the three-headed dog that guards the gates. Here, this is the house that gets up and walks away. That's like in a Studio Ghibli movie. This is just a happy deck. Even though you got this little person in the cage, you can get out. Oh, I love this tower card. Her is a gargoyle. Beautiful. Frank and the Bride of Frankenstein. For the lovers in Nosferatu. 
Nine of Pentacles. He's a happy dude there. He's super content. Sun. We got Groot and a woman for Groot here. Oh, I try not to look too long. Just uh, these have been keeping me company. They're my friends. They pick me up. They let me never be bored, you know? I mean, that's a great thing, being a tarot reader. You're never bored. you got so much to read or work with. It can invent spreads. This is the Everyday Witch Mini. I have the regular size. I just love this mini. The Nine of Cups. I mean, who wouldn't be super content meditating there at the beach? The cat looks happy to be playing with this crab, too. Seven of Cups. I mean, we've all seen this. It's just a really, it's a great deck. Great for readings. Fun to look at. Oh, I love this one. The Four of Wands. And we got out beautiful streamers of color. Here, I'll hold it up to regular size deck. It's, it's really tiny, but you can see it really well. This is called the Happy Tarot. I mean, this is a super infusion of sugar in this deck. And you feel like such a little kid. Here's Prince Charming. He looks so cute on his seahorse. There comes. Look, she's holding her bird there. This is such a happy... I mean, the Happy Tarot, that's a great name for this. Even the dogs. They're puppies. <laughs> Got hearts on the privates. Everybody's smiling. Even that Three of Swords, that's a happy-looking Three of Swords. Even this is happy looking, though, you know, they're feeling badly needing help and they're not realizing they can just go there to the church. Very uplifting deck. Even the Ten of Swords. You don't feel bad looking at that one. It's like he just ate too much sugar and having a little sugar coma. And I'm going to show you the one I've been working with the most. This is the most healthy emotional deck I've ever worked with. I love this Shadowland Tarot. You can do, use it in reversal if you want. You won't be able to tell, you know, like some decks. Like this one, you would totally be able to tell if you reverse it. This one, you won't. But it's not meant to be used in reversal. It's meant to be used seeing like this and you use your intuition and your mind of your client what's coming to you, the shadow or the light. Oh, I love that star. Like in here, you've got this hair... It looks like Cousin It. I love that she's holding the star. But all you gotta do to get to your faith and hope, move the hair out of your eyes. 
you know, stop putting things covering your eyes. Just look. Everything's going to be okay. Deal with things. Don't let them get out of control. That dude seriously needs a rest to grow some meat back on his bones. Candles are definitely wands in this. Sticks are wands in this too and wands. Oh, look at that. They're exchanging of goods. They got little heart-shaped lollipops. She's got a heart-shaped balloon. Sharing apples. Gifts. Five of Pentacles. Look, this like Bigfoot is watching those people and wanting to be a part of. But he doesn't even try. Just got to put yourself out there. Don't isolate yourself. Well, right now, everybody's got to isolate themselves. Seven of Pentacles. These are all Venus fly traps. Got to feed them their meat. So they can grow. You know, you're going to get your feelings hurt. You're going to feel grief. But you keep going. And you'll get past it. I love the sun balloon. And these sunflowers look like they've got a little bit mixed with Venus fly traps. The wands with the spiders. See firewood for uh, wands. This one's even got an apple on it. Isn't that a great seven of wands? She's going to make sure everybody stands back and doesn't cross her boundaries. She's making lava come out. He totally looks like he's hoarding. Oh, this is a great one. We got the person that's happy up there. This person was trying to get up. This one's coming down. And this one's hanging on for dear life. Just can't wait to be up on top again. Just the full cycle. This seeker is the fool. He hasn't even put his head on straight before he's going on his journey. I love the Six of Swords. You know, the leaving the troubled waters, get to smooth waters. You know, this is very much like abused women. They're leaving, but you know, you're not healthy right away. So you got this uh, dragon pushing you up and keeping you feeling the abuse going on in your head. You've got to deal with it. Got to go work on it with a therapist and heal. And take the time you need. I love the Six of Cups. They're having a wonderful little tea party together. And it looks like it's just such a happy memory. But look, she's wearing a mask on her face. A mask that says everything's good, but we don't really know. And she looks nervous about choosing. It's not like all these happy things for her. I love this deck. The artwork is makes this not scary it's happy i mean even though we got skulls here 
she uses so much color, makes it fun, makes your mind work. Queen of Swords, she is not being clear-headed here. She's got her hair covering her face. She doesn't want to think about it, whatever it is. Eight of Swords. Now, you know this bird is not going to be stopped by a few feathers. Just blow and they're going to fall. Open his wings, this little bit binding is going to come right off. Two very different personalities in this body, but they work together and they're strong together. Got to respect all sides of yourself. The moon is wearing the wolf mask here. And I love that she's got her lobster on her uh, leash to walk down the path. Ah, oh, the ten of swords. The poppet's got ten needles in it. I like this nine of swords, the spiders coming down. That most people run out of bed. You'd wake up running and realize, oh, that was just a dream. Okay, I will put this down. I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been using, what I've been working with for the last couple months. I started the isolation before. They said you had to because I have chronic asthma. So I really do, do not want to catch it. So I've been spending a lot of time home alone. Got this book, been reading this. I love the way she writes. It's just a little bit on each card. And it's like you're with a, a really good friend. I, I love the way she wrote that book. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope everybody's staying safe and being healthy and enjoying yourselves and keeping your mind active and take care of yourselves and give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. Take care, everybody. Bye.